On Saturday, April 25th, 2009, many Americans were extremely hopeful and excited about the change they would soon see. In his weekly address to a nation full of hope, our new leader said the following, All across America, families are tightening their belts and making hard choices. Now Washington must show that same responsibility. That is why we have identified two trillion dollars in deficit reductions over the next decade while taking on the special interest spending that doesn't advance the people's interests. Further on in the address, Americans heard about some of the change they could expect. Our fearless leader went on to say, it's time to fundamentally change the way that we do business in Washington. To help build a new foundation for the 21st century, we need to reform our government so that it is more efficient, more transparent, and more creative. That will demand new thinking and a new sense of responsibility for every dollar at the end of the president's weekly address he told his hopeful change hungry americans the following we cannot sustain deficits that mortgage our children's future nor tolerate wasteful inefficiency government has a responsibility to spend the people's money wisely and to serve the people effectively I will work every single day that I am president to live up to the responsibility and to transform our government so that it is held to a higher standard of performance on behalf of the American people. On this 25th day of April 2009, the total current debt of the U.S. public stood at 11 trillion 185 billion dollars. On November 28th, 2014, just five and a half years later, the American people got an update on all their hope and change. The total current debt of the U.S. public reached a mind-blowing 18 trillion dollars. 70 percent higher from the day our fearless leader took office. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. The hopeful changing update was so incredible that the big three networks, ABC, CBS, and NBC, didn't have time to cover the milestone. Apparently, the networks were still full of hope and didn't want to spread any negative change. For a better understanding why so many Americans were so hopeful for positive change in the financial well-being of their country, we have to go back to a 2008 rally where our Commander-in-Chief was getting everyone pumped up on hope and change. The problem is, is that the way Bush has done it over the last eight years is to take out a credit card from the Bank of China in the name of our children, driving up our national debt from five trillion dollars for the first 42 presidents, number 43 added four trillion dollars by his lonesome, so that we now have over nine trillion dollars of debt that, that we are going to have to pay back. Thirty thousand dollars for every man, woman, and child. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. The problem is, is that the way Bush has done it over the last eight years, number 43 added $4 trillion by his lonesome, so that we now have over $9 trillion of debt. 